welcome to another episode of The Distinguished Geek. So, today I'm going to be doing a review of the Celestron Inspire 70AZ telescope. Uh, I'm amateur in this field, I've always wanted to get into astronomy, and uh, I think if, if this is what you want to do as well, then it's probably a good video to watch. Uh, I'll go through details of what the telescope is all about and, and everything about it and um, if it suits you ideas of um, you know, where to where to start if you are a beginner like myself right let's get started So we'll start with the 70 and the AZ that's printed on the side of the telescope. So the 70 stands for the aperture and how much light it lets in. Uh, this telescope is classed as a low cost budget telescope and it'll either come in a 50 or a 70 and it's obviously measured in millimeters. So this telescope is great for daytime viewing and anyone really from uh, children to adults who want to sort of learn and beginners uh, who want to learn in, you know, more about astronomy. It's great for like uh, details to see things like the moon and planets such as uh, you know which, which you can see with the naked eye but that's really the best thing really for it you can't really see anything more detailed than that if you want to see planets such as such as things like the rings of Saturn uh, you may want to jump up to like an 85 or a 90 AZ stands for azimuth uh, such as the celestial object of like the moon and the Sun uh, between the north and the south of the horizon. So essentially the azimuth is just letting you know that the telescope can move horizontally uh, around on its mount, allowing it to become a star finder. So the Inspired Telescope comes with a 90 degrees erect diagonal. This accessory uses a prism to blend the light at a 90 degrees angle, providing a more comfortable viewing position. It also gives you a 100% correctly orientated image, allowing you to easily use this telescope as daytime terrestrial observing. The telescope also comes with a Star Pointer Pro Finder Scope. Uh, this is a great tool when you want to aim the telescope at a target. Uh, within this, this uh, scope, you'll have a red target, which is um, aimed through the scope and allowing you to see where the telescope essentially is pointing, and then you can start focusing the telescope on what you want to see. The star pointer comes with a CR2032 button battery provided. It looks like one of these, which you can buy from any miscellaneous store. If you're gonna be packing this telescope away for a lengthy period of time, make sure you remove the battery uh, to reduce the battery erosion. Now this telescope comes with two eyepieces, a 20mm and a 10mm. Uh, to start off with, you would use the 20mm to find your target. And when you found it, you can then move to the 10mm for a sharper image. Now to put it in there, you literally unscrew that uh, to make it uh, more looser. And then you can literally put the 20mm in like that. And there we go. So that is your eyepiece. It has a rubber eye piece here, which is fantastic. It's really comfortable and it allows you, it blocks out the light from the side of your eye and you get a really good image. The eyepieces come with containers uh, provided uh, to keep them dust free and um, keep them nice and protected. Uh, but whilst using the telescope, you can store the eyepieces in the bracket holes provided on that in the base and it's quite easy to put back in there so they're really secure and they can't fall out they can't blow out and yep really really good storage the telescope also comes with a little light uh, provided it's actually a torch that you can remove uh, but it sits in the bracket there and it lights the bulb below now you may not be able to see it very well but if i turn the light on you can just see a slight red glow. It does provide a nice red light, so it doesn't give you any light pollution, and but it allows you to see uh, what you're storing on the tray below, and it still allows you to have a good image, and like I said, not affecting 
any light pollution. The torch uses a AA battery. Once again, if you are storing your telescope away for a lengthy period of time, make sure you remove the battery uh, to stop any erosion. To move the telescope left or right, simply use the azimuth handle here and literally twist the knob like that and it allows you to move the telescope left and right, up and down. And when you want to lock it into position, you should tighten it again and it, you can see it's now lobby and secure. When you found your target, you have focuses on either side of the telescope. Simply turn the focuses and the telescope can get into focus. You can use either side, it has the same function. Bear in mind that below this tube, it's got some grease to allow this tube to move nice and freely. So make sure that when you're not using the telescope, it's to close it up again to reduce the grease drying up. The Inspire telescope comes with a phone mounter, such as this, which you can put your mobile phone onto it and you can take photographs or even videos of what you can see. So it comes with, as you can see, a bungee and it comes with many of them. So as you can see there, it comes with uh, several bungees to secure your phone. So simply take one of the eyepieces and you put it into this slot here. You have two screws inside here. Release those so you've got more of a room and you can slot the eyepiece into here. Now as you can see, there's a hole in there and that's where your phone will sit on the other side and it can look through the lens of what you're seeing. Now what I would suggest is to use the 20 millimeter, get your target before putting the lens into here so you know where the telescope is uh, pointing and then you can put the eyepiece in the slot and then refocus. So to put the eyepiece in the slot, you simply have to remove the rubber eyepiece. It's simple as that. You just literally pull there. You're not going to rip it. It comes off quite easily and just store your rubber eyepiece somewhere nice and safe. And now you can slot your eyepiece straight in to the slot, such as that. Redo the screws so it's nice and secure and you can now slot it into the directional imager on the telescope. Make sure you unscrew the screw here so you've now allowed the eyepiece to go back in. Simply put the eyepiece into the slot, redo the screw, and now this will be nice and secure. You'll have bungees provided to go into many of these slots to tighten your phone and then it'll be sitting over this hole here, which is looking over the eyepiece. The one downside with this mount is depends on what phone you have. I have an iPhone 8 Plus, and that unfortunately is too big. With it sitting on the mount and the bungees, the bungees themselves is pushing my phone away from the viewfinder. So you would need a smaller phone. So it will do the same probably issue with uh, the Samsungs and any other phone company with the same equivalent uh, size phone. You would need a small phone. So unfortunately, I'm gonna have to invest in a smaller phone just so I can take photographs or videos, which unfortunately, I'm a bit disappointed with really but it's not the end of the world but yes if you do want to take photographs i would suggest to get a smaller phone or if you can borrow one that would be perfect the one great news about this telescope is that there is no screws or screwdrivers or allen keys or anything that needed to erect the telescope it simply comes with this tripod provided the only thing you need to do is loosen the screws so you can slide this actual tube into place the star pointer and the directional as you can see just re relies on screws being released so you can actually slide it into place and then tighten it back up again it does come with a allen key or such for the bolts and the screws provided but that is purely just to retighten if they come loose over a period of time but like i said there's no tools needed to erect the telescope this telescope comes with a good length tripod 
provided. The bottom half of the telescope, as you can see, does extend by releasing these little knobs here. It releases the bottom half of the telescope, so you have a nice height. And very easy to pack away by simply undoing this little center knob here. It releases this three tray, and that which gives it stability at the moment will then loosen and you can then close the tripod and then either put the telescope vertically or remove the telescope completely from its mount and pack it away. I would suggest to keep the box and the polystyrene provided uh, because you really do want to keep the telescope as clean and without damaging it. Overall, the Celestron Inspire 70AZ telescope is absolutely fantastic. It's great for beginners, and especially if you want to get yourself into astronomy. Average price range is £129, but I'm sure you can find it cheaper if you shop around or if you want one secondhand. In most areas where you live in, there will be astronomers' society groups. Why not join one? Take your telescope along with you, and I'm sure there'll be experienced people there who can tell you how to use it, which part of the sky to point it, and what certain nights are coming up where there may be something interesting to look at. There we go, guys. So that was the Aspire 70AZ telescope. Absolutely fantastic. Can't wait to use it. Great telescope for beginners, and if you want to get yourself into astronomy, uh, I would certainly suggest to join your local astronomer society group. Best, best place to be, uh, take this telescope alongside with you and mingle and socialize with people who are in the same interest as you. Uh, fantastic, learn the tricks of the trade of a telescope. Uh, I'm about to join mine very, very soon. Uh, there's a full moon coming out soon, so uh, I can't wait to get a great image with this telescope and hopefully I can take a photograph with it. Uh, obviously not with my phone, as I said before, because obviously it just doesn't work, uh, but hopefully will yeah get a good image brilliant guys thank you i hope this video was informal for you uh please leave a, a comment down below and let me know how you felt the video was and as always please like share and subscribe and i'll see you very soon bye bye the end